Hey hey everyone, the Niamh here, another card quest video. Hopefully all your lovely people from YouTube are enjoying your day. Are ready to sit back, relax and enjoy another episode of my wizard playthrough here. Last <coughs> Sorry, last time we got the Skystone out of the Bag of Riches, so uh, my items here are complete. And uh, I don't know, we just have to finish this run and then after that, who knows? Who knows, I'll do a special episode where I'm gonna go all through all the items and then if I'm missing some item, you can let me know. But I think I have all of them now. I think I do have all of them now. Anyhow, let's continue our uh, Dwarven site here. Uh, let's see, this is the part two of my Pyromancer in the Mountains run. Entering Dwarven City. The city is defended by more than just a few miners and guards. It is a home to our Pyromancers and Alchemists, not to mention the Golems. Well, he's very proud. I'm telling you, stranger, this won't be easy, but we're getting close. The Zerper must be getting nervous. The prince seems quite pleased with the chaos he caused by reaching the Dwarven city. Now, what are we waiting for? Let's storm this place. No, let's uh, let's burn it down. <laughs> let's burn it down. Uh, well, I'm gonna mulligan this hand though. Oh, Dwarven Alchemist, hello there. Sudden Ming Scorch, uh, it's, a, it's a workable hand. Uh, it's a workable hand. Let's destroy the barricade first. And there we go. And then let's get rid of the pyro maybe. I don't know. Yeah, this draw a lot of cards for very little heat generation, so that's good. And they'll now have everything I need to end the turn here and survive, so we're gonna do exactly that. Well, actually, they didn't do anything, so, yeah. We're gonna stun them. We're gonna fight on the beaches, we're gonna fight in the forest, we're gonna... I don't know what sometimes gets into me, I really don't. There we go. No hidden enemies here, so that's good. So in today's episode, we're gonna do two areas here. And then in the final episode tomorrow, I'll do the uh, the final boss. First four spells cost minus one. Necromancy spells cost minus one. Attacking receive, attacking enemies. This is not really a defensive deck. Enemies usually don't attack me. They're usually unaware. So I'm gonna go with uh, reduced spell cost. So we should have eight spells. So this is eight extra stamina and that's just mm -mm, Gucci, nice. Uh, this hand, uh, this is good. However, everything else is like so-so, so we're gonna mulligan here, and I'm really unhappy that I did that, because it did not work out in my favor. I'm gonna tell you that much. That's better, though. That's better. Okay, let's squash this dude. We got some shooters here. They're like, we're the aim fire. Let's take this dude down. Well, gonna be disappointed, because we're gonna stun here, and then I'm gonna do another stun. There we go. Chill down a bit, draw a card, and that's really good. That's really good. And that's really good. And I'm gonna end the turn here just to see what we're dealing with. So only four enemies. So it should be easy peasy here. Just gonna sling some spells and be done with it. Oh. Um well. There we go. There we go. No problem, no foul, right? Just have to be careful not to go up to 10 because that's gonna be painful. Bam. Well, now I'm gonna need something. And something that doesn't cause fire and generates fire. Well. That's gonna work. There we go. There we go. Everything's nice. Mm, a chest. A chest full of treasures, you say. Mm -hmm. It sure is. 10 damage. I bet the Dwarven Guard has it. Dwarven Heavy Guard. Okay, let's uh, take this thing out first, though. You found a key. Well, I was wrong. I bet and I lost. Oh, it's a small green slime. I never saw a small green slime <laughs> come out of that box. I guess there's the first time for everything. Yo. Okay. Well, that would not be really good. We're gonna burn ourselves, so let's do this. Okay, that's nice. We're gonna cool down a little bit. There we go. Fire blast these three. 
it's done that too. Scorch this one. We got the defensive fox, so that's good. Just in case though, let's draw some cards here for a sudden mist and the turn. No hidden enemies, so mm, no worry, no foul. Let's go. Use the back just for a little bit of gold, which we have way too much anyway, but hey. You can never have enough gold. You can never have enough gold. Can't use that though. Yeah, I'm gonna have to chill down a little bit before we use it. But we lose like free heat for turn. That's pretty decent, I'd say. Bam! Pew 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 pew. Quite a fast deck, actually. Quite a fast. Not the fastest I ever played, but pretty happy with it. Ten damage. That best to be done on the golem, I assume. Okay, let's stun some dwarves here. Let's stun the other two. So now I just have to deal with the golems somehow. Well, that's not too bad because now we can play this thing for twelve damage. Bam, bam, bam. Now I need to chill down a little bit. There we go. That's exactly the card we needed. Pew. Pew. And that one's unaware. That's good. And the turn. Burn. Burn, burn, burn. Then they're gonna burn some more. There. You don't see me. Bye bye. No, ideally I don't want to go to zero. But um, I don't want to go to ten either. It's like a balancing act this deck is. Whoops. That wouldn't be good. Sudden mist. All of a sudden there was mist. The mist couldn't see me. I hid. I hid in the shadows. I looked in the shadows like a Starcraft 2 stalker. I hide in the shadows. There you go. So as time goes on, I lose the, use this less and less and that more and more. Another chest. Hopefully there's something useful in it this time. Okay. There we go. Let's use the Scorch on, I don't know, heavy infantry. Sure. And then let's chill down a little bit. There we go. Chill up, get some back. Let's start killing some dudes. We found a key, that's good. Found a healing potion inside. Well, that's way better than the slime. I'll tell you that much. Well, let's see if we can draw something that's gonna cool us down a little bit. Well, I can also play that, I guess. 12 damage. And, and there'll probably be like no hidden enemies here either, so. Uh, and the turn. Okay, let's done these three. There we go. Fire them up, boys. Let's go. Yeah, I like those. I like those. These are really good. Only generate one heat and make them burn. Nice to crisp. Goes through armor as well, it seems. So. What more can you wish for out of a very good AoE spell? Not much else, not much else, that's for sure. Advancing in Dwarven City. Well, your city is not that tough. Okay, I got Defensive Fog, which is really good. So I'm like, uh, let's play this out, right? Okay, Scorch, cannot play it right now. Okay, let's draw a card, dump that. I can play this thing though. And there. Let's chill down. Play that. Mm. Okay. I'm gonna use a Mist on the Golem here and save the Defensive Folk for the next turn. 14 damage and 3 hit. And 2 cards. Let's do that. 
Well, let's chill down a little bit, make everyone unaware. Uh, let's start these burning sensations here. Again, I save the defensive folk for the next turn. So these are burning now, so that's good. Okay, let's go for that one. I don't know. At this point, I just need damage. Scorch can't play it. Another Scorch. Well, time for defensive fog, I guess. And I'm gonna go really, really low. So, but we do have inner fire to enable the Scorch, so that's good. Okay, I'm gonna scorch the stone stone golem. Well, we can actually scorch that thing instead. Stone golem is about to die anyway, so. What would, the, the, what would be the point of that, you might ask, and you would be correct. There would be very little point in that. Okay, well, another defensive fox, so we are like perfectly safe here now. Just gonna end the turn to recover some stamina here, and then I'm gonna continue. Oh, I actually had the inner strength. I am so silly sometimes, I really am. Bam. A lot of armor though, a lot of armor on these dudes, oops. No sir, let's not do that. No, no, no. We're like, I have all the mist in the world. Misty. What's the weather today? A oh, little bit misty with the chances of meteor strike, <laughs> meteor shower. Little bit misty with a chance of meteor shower. Uh, this one I don't like. This one's cool, I guess. Yeah, we're gonna get some more HP. So if we mess up, we have a ticket out of the mess, I guess. Uh, this one can be made aware, unaware. Uh, this one's kind of pricey. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. Shall we go for the pyromancer? Probably a good idea, right? Okay, and another time, I mean, sure, throw two more cards, cards is something we need right now, so, draw, bam, okay, that's really good, though, that's what we need, so now everyone's like, where did he go, where did he go, we can't find him, that's so bad, find him, find the dude, oh, not gonna find me today. Uh, right. He's gonna summon the fire elemental unless I can kill him here. It seems like I'm not gonna be able to. Yeah. Summon fire elemental. Dodge. Ooh, that didn't make him unaware. Well, this will make everyone unaware, so that's good. Oh, healing him. That's stun and status immune. Well, you're unaware, so that's the only status I really care about. And now I can probably finish off the pyro here. And the threat is gone. And then I'm gonna do the healer next. Good. Now let's draw some cards. Hopefully some cooldown. There we go. Some chill down. I don't feel like finding out what that thing does, and the answer is it doesn't do anything, so... One mist for one enemy, and that's about it. Stone golem. Playing with fire here, <laughs> literally. Nice. Eight damage. Bam. Anyone else want some? You're still on the <laughs> Tough day to be a fire elemental. I'm gonna tell you that much. And I did not actually watch my pa pyro 
stacks there, so that could have entered in disaster. Well, I would gain three damage. I can uh, go over the the maximum twice and still heal to full though, so it's not really a big deal. You call yourself a pyromancer. Watch me burn in front of your eyes as I take your flesh and skin off. Fourteen. There we go. But now we shall heal. Yes. Okay, increase the smacks by one. Yes, please. I'm gonna grab those. Welcome to my shop. I sell to anyone. Take a look at my selection. I probably should have not bought boat. Living Dwarven City. You're standing in front of the massive gates of the Dwarven Fortress. Thanks for all your help, stranger. I couldn't have made it this far without your assistance. I think I can handle the rest now. So if you want to head for the treasure vault and get your reward, I can show you which way to go. You'll have to go through a cursed part of our city, but I'm sure you can handle it. But if you feel like joining me in the fortress to take down the usurper, you're also very welcome. Yes, I'll join you and take down the usurper. Let's go, Dwarven Fortress. Entering Dwarven Fortress, the fortress holds as a sight to behold. They are so tall that you can barely see the ceiling. Golden statues of royal ancestors decorate the halls, and carvings of the walls tell the history of the Dwarven folk. But you don't have much time to enjoy the scenery. Already a group of Dwarven elite guards surround you and the prince. Get ready, my friend, this is our last battle. Let's show them what we've made of. Well, I'm your friend again, that's nice. That's totally and utterly nice. Uh, Dwarven Heavy Guard, a barricade, oh, concentration, well, this will remove the, the dot, so we can take care of the Dwarven Heavy Guard there, and then, I don't know, let's chill down a little bit, um, Fire Blast, there we go. Yeah, the start of this run I was using Firebolts mostly, but Fire Blast is actually way, way better. In terms of how much cards you draw per hit uh, damage you cost, uh, per hit you uh, you build up, definitely way better. And this dude had the keys, so we're not gonna find out what's in the chest. Oh, will we? Found a bomb inside. Oh! I didn't actually know that you can get a key even if you... Well, I guess every day you learn something new. I thought if you kill the enemy, the fight ends right away and you don't get the item. Why did I think so? This makes perfect sense. Why did I think otherwise? I guess I'm a very confused person myself. Well, I'm gonna mulligan this though. Okay. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna do inner fire here, and then we're gonna start scorching. Anyway, I started blasting. Pew 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 pew. Okay, another scorch. Sure, another dwarven inventory. Oh, dwarven heavy guard. Dwarven heavy infantry. Okay, let's stun a bunch of them. And do that, and do... Can we? No, we can't. Well, I can do that, I can do that. Well, that's good. We draw two more cards here. We go through our deck like crazy. Crazy, crazy. Nope. Enemy turn. Okay, attack ranged, right. Bam! Well, nice shields you have there. <laughs> Would be a shame if somebody burned them to crisp. There we go. These are metal shields. Well, they heaped up all the same and damage you in the process, so... If you had one pyromancer like me, you would never be able to get attacked and destroyed like you are right now. Yeah. That's for sure. Heavy guard. Okay, let's turn some of them. Let's go for that one. We need to chill. There we go. 
Scorch. Uh, nothing really worth it to Scorch. <laughs> I guess we just have to do one of the uh, easy ones. This deck is too powerful. It does way too much damage for what it is. Like, it's combined, like, cycling and damaging capabilities are a little bit too much, a little bit unfair. And stunning, like, we can do unaware, we can do stun, we can cycle. What can't we do? We can do everything. Literally everything. And the amount of damage you dish out, oh boy. Amazing. Go. Oh, hello there, friend. You call yourself a pyromancer. What a poor excuse for a pyromancer. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, let's do that. And now let's see. I don't want to play this out. Okay, Scorch is really good. Okay, let's Scorch. Let's Scorch one of these. Since this one has 13 HP total and would just refuse to die to it. Okay. Oh, this thing is not stunned? Huh. Hum. Hum, hum, hum. Okay, I'm going to cool down. Play the inner fire and I'm gonna play the defensive mist. Actually, I don't have to. I can play the cooling stance here. Well, the cycle continues, apparently. Yep. 16 damage. Oh, that's a dwarven foreman. Throws bombs when distant and releases explosives when melee range. He leaves a surprise after that. I just noticed that they have a boss in here. <laughs> uh, sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky indeed. And now when we kill it, it's gonna be a surprise for us. Behind him, left. Well, not much I can do about it. Uh, 10. Okay, let's kill it. There will not be so many bombs though, right? Another bomb. Thank you. So this dude always drops that. That's really good. Okay, now I'm in a little bit of a trouble though. Hmm... Trouble, trouble, trouble. Hey! <sighs> so I need a chill down spell here. There we go. Now I can play that. Or that, actually. That's one down, the other one goes into shield. Another one with dodge. That's yeah, okay. I can dodge both if I use the sudden mist and defensive fog here though. Yeah, sure, let's do that. So we keep the shieldy. Okay, well, Dwarven Foreman, quite a um, powerful enemy. <laughs> and that didn't do nothing, except it made them are aware of me. I was like hidden in the smoke and then I sparked to... Uh, Two stones together and then uh, yeah all of a sudden all the spokes and flamed and there I was <laughs> basically naked in front of a bunch of very very pissed off dwarves who were searching for me for quite a while but let's stun them so I don't have to worry about them right nice six uh, can't afford it though scorch there we go. Good. Three more rooms. Increase max by one, generate two. Yeah, 
These don't do anything for Pyromancer. The only thing that do everything anything for Pyromancer is actually bad, starting with extra fire. I don't know. Pyromancer is such a weird character. So powerful. But the, the traits suck. So yeah, we just take stamina, I guess. But that's fine, though. That's fine. So I realized it's better to use this than this. This also gives me stamina, so... Okay, let's start with the uh, heavy guard, I guess. And then let's remove dodge with this, maybe. I could do another heavy guard. And then we have four enemies ish. And this will not even kill it. I can chill down though. It will stun. Okay, here's my defensive folks, so I don't have to worry. Can touch this. There we go. There you go. Go searching in the mist for me. Like in good old times. Pew 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 pew. pew. Okay. Oops, let's chill down first. Scorch. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's scorch a dude. And then six. Will that be enough? Nope, that will not be enough. Well, I can stun them though. And make them burn. And chill down. Do that. There we go. How's the fire? Nice and hot in there, in that armor? Hey? Surely is. Zerper, we're coming for ya. Mm hmm. Well, that's good. Um, six damage. That doesn't do much, though, does it? And there we go. I'm gonna do that. And let's start scorching. 18. So we can do one of these with that. And we can do 12. Well, it stuns, so it's okay. There we go. This also stuns. We need to chill down first, though. There we go. Eight damage. Right. Okay. They're like, where is he? Where is he? Okay, no, first they need to this done and then they go, where is he? Well, by the time all is set and done. Uh... Okay, let's stun them again. And I almost burnt the chest to a crisp. That would not be a good life choice, that's for sure. Well, not if. Oops, that was not a good life choice either. Well, it happens. Sometimes it just happens. Okay. Where is... Wait, what? I'm out of stamina. Where's the key, dudes? I have to kill them now. For the key. For the key! We found the key. What's inside? Another healing potion. And get... And the Dwarven King. Let's see. Stun immune attacks with his repetition crossbow when distant, protects nearby enemies, and raises his shield when distant. Close two guards and two shooters at 30, drinks a healing potion at 20. Hmm. So, how's the best to do this? Well, the best way to do this is to go for the King. Although he has a lot of armor, these two dudes give him plus two armor. So it's better to kill these two and then go for the king. But then the dudes he summons have a room to go. So if we're gonna kill this first, we might as well kill everything, right? Yeah, pretty much. How much will this do? Maybe we can just go for it. I don't know. I mean, with, between cooling stands and defensive fog and stuff like that... There. 
Come on, we need uh, more spiky damage here. That's a good spiky damage, that's for sure. 12, that's gonna do 5. Oof. That's gonna take a while. <laughs> gonna take that much right away. Sudden Mist. Dodge, lose 1 and draw a card. Chain, cost minus 1 and make... make. Oh, if it's on chain, then it... Eh, otherwise not. Ah... Right. Hello there. Well, he's gonna burn out. Oh, he also has less armor now since he went closer to us. Well, that was a mistake you're gonna regret doing, dude. Uh, right. There we go. Cooling stance, nice. Let's chill down. So yeah, this will be unaware for quite a while. Yeah, it's... I don't really have to do anything super fancy here. Just kill the kink while keeping everyone else unaware. That should work like a charm. Call reinforcements. Well, there is no room. <laughs> Firebolt. No, I cannot play it. Okay, I got two sudden mists, so that's gonna be good. Well, actually, let's just do the defensive fog this time. There we go. Yeah, I should use the defensive fog as often as I can. 36 HP, that's it? That's after the thing? Oh. Oh no, that's it. Calls two guards and two shooters at 30. He just summoned one shooter and that's it. No... No more after that. All right. Um, how do we do this? Let me save some stamina here. Now we can kill everyone else, right? If we want to, we need to. Especially if I don't draw my unawareness cards. Yeah. I can see what we draw though. Okay, let's stun these. I'll make him inflamed a little bit more. This only costs one though. It will inflame me for two though, so. Okay, draw a card. Yeah, now we can't play that unless I do Pyro Ropes, which isn't too bad either. I can also play this first, let's see. Ooh, Cooling Stance, that's good. That's really good. Scorch. Okay. I got the Defensive Fog again, which is really good. Yeah, sure. Defensive fog. Nobody can see me. Do the do the. Oh, he burns the crisp. Nobody saw that coming, right? Okay, stun these, and then I can scorch the golems. There we go. Boom. Oh, I didn't even use the pyro ropes in the end. Oops, I totally. Plans to do that. I guess I just forgot. You can use them now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> One too many firebolts. One too many firebolts. That's okay though. We're just gonna dodge there. Um. Okay. Let's kill this thing. Actually, let's kill that thing instead. Actually, I don't know. Let's change like ten more. Uh, let's change our mind like ten more times and uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, that. Well, this is a good chance to burn this thing down. Although now it's gonna go for me, and it's really, really big and scary. However, 
We got another one here. Oh wait, why is he unaware? Hmm. Okay. Fog. You know nothing, Golem. You know nothing of my suffering. You know nothing of our pain. That we have to go through to become pyromancers. You think you have it bad? Being old stony and stuff? Trust me when I tell you. There are worse things in the world out there. Hmm. Pew. And yeah, that's gonna be it for this area. Just need to draw some damage here and finish the thing off. Okay, let's play that. Are we gonna burn myself? There we go. I'm gonna heal now and we are ready for the dragon area. That went pretty nice and smooth. I'm glad it didn't backfire when I went for the king. Wait, friend, you want to restock before going into the vault? It never hurts to be prepared. Okay, another bomb. <laughs> we have so many bombs right now that, well, what can possibly go wrong? Living Dwarven Fortress. The Zerper falls to the ground and his crown rolls on the floor. The guards drop their weapons and kneel as the prince steps forward, picks up the crown and sits on the throne. Thank you for all your help, my friend. <laughs> the vault is in this direction. Go there, pick up whatever you like. You earned it. Well, first of all, the vault is empty. I already picked it clean. Second of all, sire, we don't go into the vault anymore. A foul beast dwells in there. I'm sure my friend here can deal with any beast. Lead him to the vault. Uh, well, do I have a choice in the matter? I guess not. We're going to have to go there. We can also quit. <laughs> Be like, nope, I'm not going to finish this run. And yeah. Anyhow, check back tomorrow for the dragon's layer fight to see who throws fire better, me or the dragons. Hopefully I don't get burned to crisp, that would be hilarious, but you never know, right? Anyhow, if you enjoyed this episode, like and subscribe. In the meantime, I wish you all to have a wonderful day, do something nice. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you back tomorrow. Neomer signing out, bye bye.